Hello dear learners, welcome back again to my channel and I'm very glad that you're here again watching with me, willing to learn new things and uh, still on the topic under the program or the, uh, the, the core, core idea on business finance. So on this vlog we are going to talk about creating a budget and all other topic that talks about budget. So let's start. A budget is the financial expression of an organization's operating plan for a period of time, usually at least a year. So what's the purpose of, a bu of budgeting? That's another thing that we have to focus on. A budget is the financial expression, as I mentioned, uh, given in a period of time. And of course, uh, knowing the importance of budgeting prior to the beginning of the year, managers prepare or a plan or plan for what they hope to accomplish in the coming year in terms of revenue, expenses, and net profit. Budget can be more formally defined as a financial document used to protect future income and expenses. The budgeting process may be carried out by individuals or by companies to estimate whether the person or company can continue to operate with its projected income and expenses. A budget may be prepared simply using paper and pencil or on a computer using spreadsheet, program like Excel, or with financial application like Quicken or QuickBooks. In summary, the purpose of budgeting is to first provide a forecast of revenues and expenditure. Second, construct a model of how a business might perform financially if certain strategies, events, and plans are carried out. Another is it enables the actual financial operations of the business to be measured against the forecast and it establishes the cost constraint for a project program or operation. Now let's talk about the process of preparing a monthly budget. The process of preparing a monthly budget includes listing all sources of monthly income, listing of all required fixed expenses like rent and mortgages, utilities and phone, listing other possible and variable expenses. Then, as the year unfolds, actual income and expenses are posted to the accounting records and compared to what was budgeted, and a variance from the budget for each item budgeted, example, sales, selling expenses, advertising costs, is calculated. Managers responsible for the various income and expenses items then examine each variance and, if it is substantial, search for an explanation. For example, it is one thing of electricity cost are higher, like 20% higher than what was budgeted for one month because workmen were using power tools to repair the roof of the building. In, the, in that case, we can expect cost to return to normal when repair work is done or completed. It is quite another thing if costs are higher because the electric company raised its rate in the case, we can expect that cost will be at at least maybe 20% higher in the future. The role of budgeting in a daily operation of a business or even in, a, in our own home. Budgeting helps aid the planning of actual operation by forcing manager to consider how the condition might change. It thus encourages manager to consider problems before they arise and think of the steps that should be presently taken. It also helps coordinate the activities of the organization by compelling manager to examine relationship between their own operation and those of the other departments. Other essential function of budget includes first is to control resources, another is to communicate plan to various responsibility center managers, to motivate managers to strive to achieve budget goals, to evaluate the performance of managers, and to provide visibility in the company's performance. There are two basic approaches or philosophies when it comes to budgeting. One approach is based on mathematical models 
and the other is on people. The first school of thought believes that financial models, if properly constructed, can be used to predict the future. The focus on variables, inputs, and outputs, drivers, and the like. Investment of time and money are devoted to perfecting these models, which are typically held in some type of financial spreadsheet or Excel application. The other school of thought holds that it is not about models, it's about people. No matter how sophisticated models can get, the best information comes from the people who are doing the business and part of the business. The focus is therefore in engaging the managers in the business more fully in the budget process and building accountability for the result. The, com the companies that adhere to this approach have their managers develop their own budget. While many companies would say that they do both, in reality the investment of time and money fails squarely in one approach to the other. I hope you learned something on this vlog. Until next vlog, we are going to talk about financial planning and forecasting. See you next vlog.